live from San Juan Capistrano, the home of the Swallows and the birthplace of Orange County. It's Capistrano Live. Ladies and gentlemen, if you would, please welcome our musical guest this evening, the Ghost Jazz Trio. Thank you. 
the ghost jazz trio. Like this page and share it. Thank you, guys. That was absolutely wonderful. Uh, I'm here with James Morgan, who is the leader of the ghost band trio. And absolutely, you guys are absolutely wonderful, man. I, I just love it. I just love it. Welcome to the show. Well, you have good taste. Thank you. Thank you. I, I knew you'd feel that way. <laughs> we started joking, emailing before we yeah. talked. Yeah, we so. should take. We should go out and do a little duet, uh, a little a comedy act together. Yeah, no, that'd be fun. That'd be fun. <laughs> so, how long has the band been together? Well, uh, it's this uh, particular version's been together about uh, two years. Yeah, going on two years, and uh, I started that the actual Ghost Jazz Trio product about. Uh, project about three years ago mm -hmm. uh, as an experiment. I wasn't a jazz player. Explain don't, that. I don't read charts, play by ear, always have. Been playing about 45 years. It's always worked for me. So I just kept doing what I've been doing. And I got into different genres of music uh, as I became interested in, in it mm -hmm. and uh, tried to put my own spin on it. When I got into the jazz uh, genre, I didn't want to just Obviously, since I don't read, I can't play the uh, fake book or real book stuff. Right, I want to create right. my own jazz, which is basically free-form kind of music, being creative on the, in the moment yeah. with your fellow musicians. It's almost like you're having a dialogue. Exactly, because it is a language. Yeah, in yeah. the moment. So that's with these guys, that's really what the concept is. It's just, you know, be inspired by the moment, be inspired by each other, and be inspired by the music. I'm really impressed hearing you say that you don't read music so you're feeling this music yeah there's because i'll tell you what one of the things uh that i hope happens when people watch this show and especially people who have a little more time on their hands now than before is that maybe they'll pick up an instrument that they had an interest in and they don't necessarily have to be they don't have proficient. to be yeah proficient right they can just have an ear they can just love hearing mm -hmm. the four chords Sit they in front know, of the man. sunset yes exactly. play your guitar yes people will gather they'll yeah. they'll hear it yeah. you know because that's really what music is if you think about it music's a language it's a mathematics it's many things to obviously different people yeah. but it's a universal language and that's why i like it because it doesn't have a side it doesn't have a, a creed. It doesn't have a, you know, it, it doesn't belong to anything. Exactly. And exactly. so that's where the freedom is. I don't, I'm not a joiner. I don't join gyms. I don't join anything. I don't join groups, parties, whatever. I'm a maverick. I just do my own thing. Right on. And people are either on the James train or they're not. <laughs> Your train? I thought you said it was a Maverick. <laughs> <laughs> There's only C4. Yeah. Remember those? Uh huh. Or Opals? <laughs> Mavericks, yeah. yeah. Oh, man. We can't do our comedy act. Okay, here. all right. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I tell you, I, I really love the sound. And, um, and I love music for that, for many of those same reasons, because music reaches people. Uh, a place where spoken words don't. Mm -hmm. uh, and it also. Um, Jazz doesn't dictate a mood or an action. Jazz is just something that meets you where you are. You can hear what you hear out of it, and it always lands well. Music always lands well. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's that's the for this particular project we recorded the CD in August and released it. Um, it's very it's the, the whole concept of the music was to create something, and I wrote most of the songs during the shutdown because I had time. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it mellowed me out, yeah. the shutdown, because I was busy running around like everybody else. So I wanted to create music that would relax you. You could do yoga or, or have a glass of wine and watch the sunset while you're listening to it. It's not going to overpower you. It's not going to control you. Yeah. You can just, it'll enhance whatever space you're in. Yeah. I, I have um, a lady that I do Reiki with, and um, I'm going to do a distant session that this hurts. weekend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm going to listen to the CD and see if it would be appropriate for the, for, you know, for just chilling and just being in the Opening moment. Opening up the chakras. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. And by the way, because I don't know if you guys recognize this, but when he mentioned the project, that was my cue to mention, tell us about your project. <laughs> <laughs> I so beat you to the cue. Here, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm supposed to be the straight man. I'm yeah, sorry. <laughs> 
<laughs> so tell us about the project. Well, again, like I said, I wanted to create something that was um, yeah, relaxing to listen to. And the project, what I, I was able to find some good players. Uh, Aaron Siener, who's on bass, phenomenal bass player. Uh, he's played Carnegie Hall. He's done stuff I probably wow. don't even know about. He plays just uh, incredible bow bass. And then uh, Jack, uh, Nathan on drums uh, from San Diego, great drummer. And uh, I was lucky to get both of them. Now, a funny story is I actually auditioned a drummer and tried to work him into the act. Mm. Spent three hours with the guy the, uh, the night before uh, I was going to record. Or actually, two nights. And I didn't, the drums just didn't do it for me. So I called up Jack and went over by myself, played my guitar, showed him the songs, and 12 hours later, he's in the studio recording wow. it. And it sounds like he's been playing with us for years. Wow. Yeah. Way to go, man. Yeah. Tell us about who's in your band tonight. So, again, Aaron Senior uh, on bass, plays upright, double bass, and uh, electric bass. And uh, he's from the East Coast, New York. He's got the whole New York vibe, personality. And he drove out here tonight just <laughs> yeah, for this yeah, show, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. That's dedication. Yeah. Well, he would. He always, that's one thing. He always shows up. <laughs> he may show up late, but yeah, he always right. shows up. <laughs> And then uh, Jack is, uh, he's just a great drummer. He plays in a lot, of, he has his own band called Jack Heart Attacks because he had a heart attack, so he names a band after that. Nice, nice. And uh, they're just, you know, they're different genre. They're not jazz players. I didn't want to get jazz players because jazz players are stuck in the whole jazz book thing. And, and, and if they look at a guy like me, they're going to go, the guy doesn't read charts. I'm not playing with him anyway. So I got these guys. They have more of an edge to them because they got some rock. They got some funk. Yeah, right. And it brings a, more flavor to it and more pep, too. So I love it. I yeah. love it. And then I have uh, tonight, I have Joseph Luna joining us on keyboards and sax. I have to mention him. He is and uh, flute. And he's a crooner. He sings Sinatra songs. He's multi-talented. Really? Yeah. He's been playing for 40-plus years. And uh, we've done a couple other projects together uh, a few years ago. We did some touring and stuff. And then uh, the conga player also was in another project uh, about uh, six, seven years ago with me. Yeah. So, yeah. And I'm listening to all these guys play, and there is no weak link in this band. Everybody is sharp. Yeah. Everybody yeah. is sharp. Yeah. You have a website. Yes. Uh, we have the Ghost Jazz Trio Band website. You can go to Facebook, Ghost Jazz Trio Facebook. Uh, we're on Reverb Nation and um, uh, Twitter, obviously. Got to be on that. And uh, we do a lot of local venues. We're playing uh, the 22nd uh, at uh, Nick and G's in Rancho Santa Fe. Oh, cool. We're playing at um, the Roxy in Encinitas on the 23rd, Friday. And then we're playing on the 1st at the Landings in Carlsbad outside the patio at the airport. Nice, nice. And then we're playing on the 14th at Bellamy's in Escondido. So we're getting booked up. That's great, man. Yeah. That's great. That's great that you're finding actual places to be. Yeah. People love and we're it, here. Though. Yeah, yeah. Iconic, yeah. one of the most iconic places you can play. When did this place open? This place is celebrating its 40th year this year. And this wow. is has the dubious distinction, the Coach House Concert Hall, of being the oldest concert venue in the country that has never changed hands. Wow. So, yeah. yeah. No, it's, it's dubiously distinctive. It's great, Blake. Yeah. And the engineers, the, everybody's so organized and great vibe. Yeah, it we is. We love it. it We're is. having a I great time. I love this time. place. I love this yeah. place. Uh, keep your eye out for the Coach House Concert Hall. Look it up on the website. It's an interesting place. You, you, when we open, <laughs> you got to be here. It's a great place to see an intimate show. And, and hopefully you'll be here one day playing here. I would love to have the Ghost Jazz Trio open for a nice marquee name, come yeah, and warm up the yeah, crowd for 45 yeah. minutes. So how many, how many people do you think you can get in the, jo in the Ghost Jazz Trio? You think maybe 11? You think you can well, do that? Well, I was trying to get, like I said, <laughs> I, was trying to get the, I was trying to get the orchestra in, but they wouldn't fit my car. Exactly, in the Mavericks. So, yeah, so yeah, in the Mavericks, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but the reason I have Joseph here, and you know this, is because uh, the CD, CDs, when you have a trio, you don't have a rhythm section right. behind you when you're soloing and I wanted the melody and the solo to sound solid yeah yeah and but, it, solid it is it yeah is. so and Joseph just worked into the act the last couple days so it shows wow. you how good this guy is very I'm impressed yeah. I'm impressed yeah. man and it has been very fun talking to you I feel there's there's just like a, there's a comic undertone we could really tear this stuff <laughs> <Yeah>. up <laughs> uh, James Morgan the leader of the ghost jazz trio band